All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Crypto Tips. My name is Toby. I'm Heidi. Okay, so I want to go over a couple things uh, that I didn't go over the last video that I did on the infrastructure bill. And that is one particular person. His name is Richard Shelby. He's a senator from Alabama, a Republican. Uh, doesn't really matter. But uh, all right, so he has a lot of uh, conflict of interest here, okay? So some of its, his contributors are Oshkosh Corp. Okay, they gave him $5,000. They make military vehicles. Um, some of his other ones are, okay, Lockheed Martin gave him $141,450. Lockheed Martin, if you don't know, makes missiles. Um, and Boeing, which makes, I think, the, the uh, Predator drone, uh, gave him $126,000. Um, so there's a lot of, th these are, this is what you call bribes. This is, uh, they're bought and paid for senators. They're, they're. It's how you get bills passed. Yes, this is how you get bills passed. This is called the, uh, you know, essentially bribery. <laughs> they call it lobby, lobbying or whatever, but it, it is uh, bribery. And so the, these are what you call bought and paid for people. Um, so they, they don't represent you, they represent the people that bought them, okay? And um, yeah, so he pretty much shot down. Um, Wouldn't it suck if you called your senator and he was that guy? Yeah, so, so check this out. Okay, <laughs> Jake Travinsky um, on wrote Twitter. on Twitter, uh, Richard Shelby has objected to the compromise amendment. Okay, he didn't get his own amendment for 50 billion in defense spending so he's against all others unless he changes his mind that's it the compromise amendment is dead uh for for your information he is retiring uh at the end of this term and he's gonna retire beautifully oh man he's gonna get a lot of bribery what a turd yeah gosh <laughs> so these are the scumbags that represent the U.S. united states um and those are the people that usually have the most power uh, they usually have a revolving door. There are a couple of senators out there that are fighting against this, but I just see it as futile. Um, I don't see them doing much in this space because, you know, the powers that be, they definitely, definitely, definitely want to kill crypto and any innovation that has anything to do with cryptocurrencies. And if you guys want to know what we're talking about, if you've, no offense, have been living under a rock for the, for the past week, there's this thing called the infrastructure bill that is being passed. It's a must pass bill and in it, as usual, there's some sneaky uh, things included in that bill regarding cryptocurrencies. And uh, it's not very favorable for anyone who is running a business involving cryptocurrencies or who is mining cryptocurrencies possibly who is staking cryptocurrencies and you're located centrally in the United States, it's uh, basically you're going to be forced to be uncompliant, incompliant, whatever, not able to comply with the laws that is being passed just because of they don't understand how a decentralized network functions. Like Toby mentioned, some senators that were trying to at least provide an amendment that provides more clear language that determines what a broker actually is in regards to cryptocurrencies. That amendment was tragically turned down. Um, and so now it's being passed on to the House to get a vote on. And if it passes through the House, it's gonna go on to Biden. And if he signs off on it, that's it. Yep. Um, so basically, as a centralized entity operating cryptocurrencies in the United States, this bill is not very good. No. Um, as cryptocurrency as a whole, this bill doesn't make any doesn't matter one bit. It's just like how the centralized mining in China was driven out by China banning it or whatever they're heavy, you know, they're banning mining. This bill is going to drive whatever innovation would have happened in the United States into any other country that is happy to absorb that market share of the cryptocurrency economy that is growing like crazy so much money is being made so much opportunity for people for employment for income and the united states is smothering the crap out of it and uh, you know i i know i'm beating a dead horse right now but like this is why we left the united states we knew this stuff yeah. was coming we knew this years ago and this stuff won't stop guys if you think this is going to stop once you win this thing Oh, it's it's all gonna end. That's not true. It's it's this is just the beginning. Yeah. This is why it's time for Plan B, like my my T-shirt says. 
It's time for plan B, guys. It's no more begging senators, no more begging these stupid government people for what you want to be passed for, for making uh, crypto great again. No, crypto's already great. You just have to learn how to use it and if you follow us, you already know how to use decentralized exchanges. You understand what is important in this space and what the cypherpunks, the ones that created Bitcoin, were, were all about. Yeah. Okay? And that's, yeah. And that's the point, right? Is that uh, Bitcoin doesn't need government's approval to exist. That's why it exists. That's why it continues to exist. That's why it was created. Um, and that's a beautiful thing. So the beauty of it is going to continue with or without this approval of the United States or inclusion of or friendliness from the United States or any government whatsoever because yeah. it is providing a very real solution that a lot of people need and bringing a lot of innovation with it so so that's all we have today for you guys hope you guys enjoyed it please like subscribe and don't follow the sheep follow us instead bye 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 guys